Before we begin, let's be absolutely clear. This is not a manual for illegal activity, nor is it a guide for those seeking to break the law or cause harm. The information presented here is strictly for education and defense. By exploring how hackers evade OSINT, we're shining a light on their tactics. This knowledge helps you spot threats and defend yourself more effectively. Let's get started. What is OSINT? It's a term you might have heard in the world of cybersecurity, but what does it really mean? OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence, information that is publicly and legally accessible to anyone with an internet connection and the curiosity to look. Unlike hacking, which involves breaking into systems, OSINT is about collecting and analyzing data that's already out there. Public records, social media posts, news articles, and much more. Imagine you're a detective, but instead of a locked evidence room, you have the entire internet as your evidence locker, overflowing with clues waiting to be discovered. You might start with just a username. From there, you can find a profile, connect it to a photo, and before you know it, you've pieced together a surprisingly detailed picture of someone's life, all from public sources. Social media platforms are absolute gold mines for OSINT. People willingly share photos, tag their locations, list their jobs, and reveal personal interests, often without a second thought. But it doesn't stop there. Public databases, online forums, and even the comment sections of websites all add valuable pieces to the data puzzle. Every public post, every comment and every like is a potential clue that can be used to build a bigger picture. The real power of OSINT lies in aggregation, analyzing thousands, sometimes millions of data points to reveal hidden patterns and connections that would otherwise go unnoticed. A single tweet might seem insignificant, just noise in the digital world, but a thousand tweets can map out someone's daily habits, beliefs, and even predict future behavior. Specialized tools and software now automate much of this process, scraping and cross-referencing data at a scale that would be impossible for a human alone. Investigators, journalists, and even private citizens can build intimate digital profiles using only what's left behind in someone's digital wake. OSINT is all about connecting the dots, finding links and patterns that most people don't even realize they're leaving behind as they move through the online world. It's a powerful tool, and like any tool, it can be used for both good and bad purposes, by security professionals, journalists, or even malicious actors. That's why understanding OSINT is so important. It's the first step toward protecting your own privacy and being aware of your digital footprint. The less you share online, the less there is for others to find. Being mindful of what you post is your best defense in the age of open source intelligence. We all leave digital breadcrumbs, photos, reviews, likes, scattered across the internet. For most, it's harmless, but to a hacker, it's a map to your identity. Attackers use OSINT to gather intelligence and find weaknesses, like employee names or personal details for phishing. Defenders use OSINT to see what's exposed and close security gaps before attackers find them. Law enforcement and journalists use OSINT to track criminals and uncover truth. Investigators analyze satellite images, social media, and public records to expose hidden activities. OSINT, when used ethically, is a force for transparency and justice. It levels the playing field, Anyone with curiosity and skill can uncover facts. But it also means your digital trail is more valuable than you think. Awareness is your best defense. The first rule for hackers evading OSINT, never be yourself online. This is the foundation of their digital deception. They create fake identities, or sock puppets, with unique names, backstories, and interests. Each identity is meticulously crafted to appear authentic. These personas use AI-generated photos and never overlap with the hacker's real life. The digital faces are as varied as they are convincing. Absolute separation is key. No shared devices, no shared IP addresses, no real-world references. This ensures their anonymity remains intact. One slip, like logging in from a personal device, can unravel the illusion. Such mistakes can be costly, exposing their true identity. Hackers practice strict operational security, separate browsers, virtual machines, and sometimes even physical devices. This layered approach fortifies their defenses. They design personas to mislead, using foreign languages, time zones, and local news from other regions. This adds layers of complexity to their deception. The goal is to send investigators on wild goose chases, leading them far from the truth. The digital ghost is a complete interactive illusion, not just a mask. It's a fully realized character in the digital world. 
Every detail is crafted to avoid detection and misdirect OSINT analysts. Precision in planning is their greatest ally. This level of deception requires discipline and planning. Without it, the facade would crumble. For defenders, understanding these tactics is crucial to spotting fakes. Awareness is the first step in countering these digital ghosts. Hackers use technical tools to hide their tracks. VPNs mask their real location by routing traffic through distant servers. Tor adds layers of encryption and bounces traffic through random relays, making tracing nearly impossible. End-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal and ProtonMail keep communications private. Even service providers can't read the messages. Hackers scrub metadata from files. Photos can reveal GPS coordinates, device info, and more. Removing these hidden clues prevents investigators from tracing files back to their source. Every technical step is about erasing the digital fingerprints most people leave behind. Anonymity isn't just about hiding. It's about removing every trace. For defenders, knowing these tools help spot when someone is trying to disappear. The more invisible the hacker, the harder the investigation. But no method is perfect. Mistakes can still reveal the truth. Tools alone aren't enough. Discipline is essential. Hackers who evade OSINT are masters of self-control online. They avoid sharing personal details, feelings, or daily routines. Their activity is minimal and deliberate, never impulsive. They avoid patterns, varying post times, writing styles, and topics to confuse analysts. Scheduling posts at odd hours further obscures their real time zone. They steer clear of arguments or emotional exchanges that could reveal personal clues. Lurking is safer than posting gathering intel without leaving traces. Compartmentalization is key. Real life and online persona never intersect. No shared passwords, phrases, or friends between accounts. One careless moment can connect the ghost to the real person. This level of discipline is rare and hard to maintain. For defenders, watching for slips is often the best way to catch a digital ghost. Advanced hackers don't just hide, they create false trails to mislead investigators. They plant fake clues, like using a VPN in one country and language from another, creating contradictions. Mimicking the tactics of known groups can frame others and divert attention. Multiple sock puppets can stage fake arguments, generating noise and confusion. Investigators waste time chasing these fabrications while the real hacker operates freely. Disinformation is a proactive defense, turning the hunt into a maze. For defenders, recognizing false trails is as important as finding real ones. OSINT has limits. It only sees what's public. Hackers exploit this by operating on the deep web and dark web, where search engines can't reach. Encrypted forums and marketplaces hide their activities from standard OSINT tools. Data voids, new personas with no history, are hard to investigate. Minimal activity means fewer clues for analysts to follow. Legal and jurisdictional boundaries further complicate investigations. Data public in one country may be protected in another, creating legal mazes. International cooperation is slow. Hackers use this delay to stay ahead. The best defense is knowing where OSINT can't see. Awareness of these blind spots helps defenders adapt. We've explored how digital ghosts hide, mislead, and exploit the internet's nature. This isn't about teaching you to disappear. It's about showing how easily it can be done. Knowledge is your shield. Understanding evasion is the first step to protecting your digital life. Your online presence is a collection of data points. Treat it with care. Practice digital hygiene, strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and mindful sharing. Security isn't about paranoia. It's about smart choices. Every post, photo, and password is a potential vulnerability. Teach your family and colleagues about privacy. The secrets of OSINT evasion are lessons in modern survival. In a world of endless information, controlling your own is vital. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe. The best defense is understanding the offense.